afternoon guys and welcome back to the channel and um, welcome over to anybody coming over from James Robinson's channel so today as you'll know if you've been on James's channel we're going to be going through his putting today so it's something that we've been working on for the last year and it's something that James always lets slip because he's now got another channel so practice is not a top priority so we're going to go through today what he needs to work and I've got another drill for him to do whilst he's in lockdown which he can do on the landing upstairs in his house, have the dog running after the ball. So one of the biggest things we've seen in James's setup and James's putting is he would like to have his hands forward so when we first started there was very much a lot of drive, a lot of tilt and he was trying to push that and guide that onto the line that he wanted to go on. So what we want to do is get out of that so we've always been working on him having that little bit of release in the putter head very similar to his short game very much hold off very negative very just trying to find contact and try and get it going forwards so we're trying to get a release all the best putters in the world will let the putter head release they'll let that ball roll and they'll have better speed control better start line control and should start to hold more putts and the reason is they're able then to let this putter swing the energy will be transferred to the ball a lot better and as a result they won't have to swing the putter as far to hit it a long distance so we are here today at the Els Club so a big thanks to the Els Club and the CH3 Academy for having me out here to do some seasonal coaching so even when I'm away James still gets me doing something so today we've just done and you'll have seen over his channel we use an alignment stick for his pitching and his short game he'd like to work the putter the putter the wedge inside especially his 60 work it inside, have a little bit of a loop, use the leading edge, dig in, and not always get the distance he's trying to get. So we're gonna be using an alignment stick again for this drill. And I know if you watched his video earlier in the week, I believe it was Thursday, he might have gone to the new number seven Odyssey. So I've got a putter very similar, the tool on version. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna get the alignment stick and we're gonna rest that on the back of the putter. And I'm going to rest that in my sternum, so bang in the centre here, as again, we want the putter to be centred, ball position slightly forward. So we know that's something else that James struggled with, the ball position would vary, sometimes it get really far forwards and that's why he had to hold it off. So here, when he takes his setup, he can have that resting on his sternum and when he hits putts now, that putter's going to work back and through with that. Hopefully it holds the putt and doesn't push it like I just did there. So in there, you can see there will still be more release. So he'll get his feedback from his finish position. So again, he'll set this in there, take his setup. And then we want to have the shaft matching the alignment stick throughout the putt. So that was much better. You can see in the finish that's matching up. So for James, when he's at home, if he starts to see that his hands have gone forwards and gone away from the alignment stick, that is why he's going to be pushing it. And, and also, if he does this, and for example, he lets the hands pass too much, he'll also get feedback, uh, feedback even, of why he's missed the putt to the left. So it's constantly gonna be giving him feedback. Whether he'll practice it or not, you know, I've been telling him for a year to practice, but he still hasn't. So if he does these drills, it'll help him square up that putter face, start it online, better distance control, and again, maybe hold some more putts and have a chance when we next play. So guys, that's a quick one there, going through James's videos. I will put some, a compilation of James's bad putting on here. I'm sure he'll send it me just for the fun of it. This will hopefully help him out. So guys, if that drill can help you, again, get your alignment stick, depending on what putter you've got, you can stick that in there and start to give you feedback if you're releasing the putter or if you're not. Guys, thanks for watching. That's been a quick one. We don't normally do a video on a Saturday, but thanks for watching and I'll see you again tomorrow.